What's up, YouTube fans? Today we're doing a comparison of the Fans Toys Jive with the Make Toys Downbeat, both versions of a masterpiece jazz. Now, if you haven't already noticed, I have a new image in the background. That's my TM Reviews logo. This was made by Mike Rogers from Ducking on Crafts and Bills. Really cool acrylic with a light-up feature. So I'm going to be including that in my reviews going forward. And just so you know, you can change it to purple for Decepticons. So we're going to be doing that. But since it's Autobots, we're going to have that on red. And before I get started, a little disclaimer, a couple disclaimers. One is this guy has been customized. And it's actually very close to the premium version of Make Toys Downbeat. So I'm going to consider this the premium, quote, premium version. It's got the translucent blue instead of the smoked gray that we got originally, which matched the windows. It's got painted silver shins and toes. Originally, it was kind of a swirly gray plastic, which wasn't very attractive. And I believe some of his weapons are also painted, which won't factor in here in this comparison, but I just wanted to say that up front so you knew. As I always mentioned with the comparisons, try to be as objective as possible. Of course, there's subjectivity involved when you're comparing things like this. So if I pick one or the other and you prefer the one I didn't pick, then you win. Try to do these comparisons to help people decide what direction they're going. And to tell you up front, I'm actually keeping both of these because this is, has sentimental value. It's customized by Sean Diesel's Body Shop, and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. But... I do these comparisons so people can decide what direction they want to go with their collection. So that being said, let's get started. We'll start off with accessories. All right, there are all your accessories for both of these guys. They both come with a lot. And I think Fans Toys kind of knew who they were competing with here. Make Toys is their really only competition for this figure. And they kind of matched up pretty well here. So they both come with the shoulder missile here. And like I mentioned, I had the Make Toys one customized. So there's that silver paint. Whereas the Fans Toys is fully painted, but very similar there. They both come with a handgun here, or his rifle. They both come with a grappling hook that attaches to the hand, and then you've got that hook at the end. They both come with two sets of speakers. They're both uh, painted, I believe they were both painted. Except the Fans Toys is done in metallic blue. Make Toys went with the purple. So, there you go for that. They both come with two alternate faces, a smiling or smirking face, and a yelling or concerned face. And what you're left with is Make Toys. It comes with an additional speaker. So these are actually meant to mount on the side of his hip skirts here. So, because of those, I'm going to give accessories over to Make Toys. All right, next we'll talk about the gimmicks on these two. And in robot mode, they're very similar. They both have the fold-out wings as well as the shoulder rocket cannon so you can make it look like the toy version. So that's pretty much the same. Uh, they both have the speakers, which you can attach here in robot mode. And in vehicle mode, both of them allow you to do that. Where Fans Toys kind of sets apart is you can take the gun and the shoulder missile, attach them together, and then this can mount onto the spoiler of the vehicle. The Make Toys one cannot mount on the spoiler. This tab slot is not big enough to actually fit. So just by a nose, I'm going to give it to Fans Toys. It's a little extra feature here to be able to use in vehicles. Right, next we'll talk about the cartoon accuracy in order that we'll put the G1 image there so you can take a look for yourself. And when it comes to the cartoon, Fans Toys nailed it here. I mean, it's kind of no question. They really got the proportions of sculpt down on this figure. Uh, even the head sculpt, I think, is another one where they really nailed the look of that head. You know, the proportions of the visor especially, they just really got that down. Not to say that the Make Toys doesn't look good, it's just less accurate. When it comes to sculpt, though, I kind of give them a tie. So Fans Toys is clean from the front and so is Make Toys. From the side, though, Make Toys is a little bit messy on the legs but clean on the back, whereas the Fans Toys back is not clean because you got these pieces sticking out, uh, whereas the legs are clean because they went with the faux wheel arch piece, right, which is kind of one where this one's kind of broken up. Coming to the back, they both have kind of the roof piece here. Uh, Fans Toys, again, you know, these pieces do stick out a little bit, but they both are very similar in terms of the look of the legs. So... 
I'm going to give them a tie on sculpt. Right, next, let's talk about the paint on these two figures. And Fans Toys never disappoints when it comes to paint. This figure is fully painted. It's gorgeous. you got a lot of metallics and overall, you know, paint flex and pearlescent effects on it. The Make Toys is not 100% painted. So what is painted is the grill here, the face, the blue you see here, the silver on the thighs. On the original version, these weren't painted. I believe on the new one, they've got either a sticker or paint on this parts. And then of course the tampos here on the side for both figures. So we're gonna give it to fans toys. They got more paint and the paint is really well done. All right, next let's talk about the build quality in these two. And I've had this figure for a very long time. This figure I've transformed several times with no issues. So they don't, they both feel pretty solid. Both look pretty solid, nothing moves on them. They're, they're really well made toys. So I don't really have an issue with build on either of these. So I'm gonna give them a tie and build. It just seems like they both uh, do a good job and give you, you know, good quality for your money. All right, now let's talk about the articulation on these two figures. In order to do that, we're gonna articulate each one individually. So for the fans toys, the head can pivot up to there, down to there. No tilt side to side, but it does rotate all the way around. The shoulder can rotate all the way around on this joint. Now this joint was initially very, very tight. And I discovered that there's actually a screw right here. So if you loosen that screw up, basically a half turn, that's enough to allow this to rotate without you know, releasing this chest piece or even the tab back here. So that definitely helps. I, I definitely recommend loosening that maybe a quarter turn to a half turn so that you can use those shoulders. But anyway, they rotate all the way around. Shoulders go up to there. You have a rotation at the bicep. Single joint to elbow gets you a little more than 90 degrees. You have a rotation at the wrist. The fingers can open up to there. The individual fingers aren't articulated. The pointer finger is separate, but it doesn't really do anything other than give you a trigger finger. You have a rotation at the waist. You have an ab crunch that gets you down to there. If you have the wings out, you can articulate the wings uh, in any direction, basically out to the side, back and forth. And the shoulders you can kind of drop down. They're meant to be dropped down. Coming to the hips, the hip skirts will move out of the way on all three sides. You have a ratchet, allows a hip, hip rotation up to there, back to there, out to the side on friction. You have a rotation at the thigh. Single jointed knee, but it gets you well past 90 degrees. Almost looks like a double jointed knee, but it's a single joint. You have a ankle tilt out to there. If you have it connected, then the heel will move it. If you have it disconnected, then they'll move separately. But either way, you have a tilt and a pivot back and forth on that toe. The heel just goes on a tilt. Now for the MIG toys, you have the head on a tilt up to there. Now it doesn't get a lot just due to the actual movement. But if you lift up on the neck, it kind of messes up the sculpt, but you can get pretty high up. And you can get pretty far down due to that extra neck. You do have a side to side head tilt here and you have a rotation. So get one extra joint there on the head tilt. The rotation of the shoulder, but this releases the shoulder. It's very annoying because of the way it's sculpted. And then you have to kind of get this tab back in and get everything reconnected. That's always been an irritation on the, on the make toys, but it's basically what's happening is this is bumping and then releasing the whole thing. But it does rotate around and just, you gotta be careful how you do it goes up to there on this joint. If you go too far, it kind of ruins the illusion, but you have this piece here that makes it look like an extra joint. Rotation at the bicep. You have a double jointed elbow, gets you almost the full bend. So a little bit more than the fans toys, you have a double joint here. Rotation at the wrist and then a single pin for the hands. So the hand can open up, but the fingers are not articulated. Rotation at the waist. Ab crunch gets you down to there. Same thing with the wings, you can pull those out and you can pose those if you want to. For the hips, the hip skirts will move out of the way. The hip can rotate up to there, back to there, and then up to the side on a ratchet. 
The only problem with the ratchet out to the side is the first click is right there and he ends up with a pretty wide stance and you can't really get anything in the middle. So I always prefer having a non-ratcheted outward movement, but either way, they both have that movement, so it's not going to change anything. You have a double jetty knee on the MiG toys. It doesn't really get you any more range, but... And this bottom one is almost... I don't know, I'd almost discount it, but basically a little bit more than 90 degrees. You have ankle tilt all the way out this way, out that way, up there, and down there. So because the Make Toys has the additional double jointed elbow and the side to side head tilt, we're going to give the articulation over to Make Toys. All right, next, let's talk about the transformation and engineering. When it comes to transformation, both of them are kind of not all that fun. For the fans toys, the legs are really kind of where a lot of time is taken and there's some panels that are a little bit frustrating in there. The rest of it, not too bad, but it's really the legs that are kind of a pain. For the Meek toys, same thing, the legs have a couple sequences that have to be in order. There's also these sliding joints that they use on the arms and that's actually not that fun because it's kind of hard to get them to slide. And there's also, uh, you know, getting these pegs in and these pegged in without popping them out. That can be kind of irritating. So I'm going to give them a tie and transformation. They're both not really, you know, all that smooth. When it comes to engineering, it's very Carlos. They both have a very similar engineering and they both are pretty clean. But the fans toys and the vehicle mode doesn't really have any kibble at all. It's pretty much clean on the back and the sides, whereas the Make Toys has that little bit of kibble. And I'll show you more in the vehicle mode what I'm talking about, but I'm going to give it to fans to it just by a nose because of the cleanliness they have when they get to that vehicle mode. All right, there they are in their vehicle modes. We'll put the G1 image there so you can take a look. And they're both really similar here in their vehicle modes. I was surprised. I actually thought they were going to be quite different, but once they got them here, they're basically the same size, same height, same width. Um, really similar, just sculpt overall in the vehicle mode. They both have their translucent blue headlights. Now this one did come with the smoked gray headlights like this windshield, but the premium version came with the blue. So I'm just going to count that as the, the stock headlights since you could, you could actually get it that way. Uh, they both come with uh, translucent windows, but the fans toys, you can kind of see through, you can see some of the stuff inside. The make toys a little bit darker. You can see it up close, but it's dark enough that you don't see it as well. As well. They both have sculpted detail on the hood. Vents here, intake vents. Now fans toys went a little bit extra and put in the fuel cap and this thing here and a painted uh, windshield wiper and a little bit less of that detail here on the make toys. Coming to the side, both have the number four. Both have nice rims. The fan toys went with the cartoon accurate rims here with that chrome. They both have rubber tires, but I, I do like these more realistic looking rims. They just look cooler. Uh, they both roll just fine. Uh, the Make Toys has a little bit of a kibble down here on the bottom of the wheel arch, and that's because they have they need that extension for the robot mode, whereas fan toys went with the faux one that flips around for a robot mode. Coming to the back, they both have the painted black on the edge of the spoiler. Very similar spoiler designs. They both have painted taillights. Fans Toys red and yellow. Make Toys just the orange there. They do have the holes in the taillights so you can put the speakers on. By the way, they both will allow you to mount the speakers. Fans Toys goes on the spoiler. Make Toys goes here in the lights. You do have a little bit of kibble down here too on the back of the Make Toys. A little bit uncleanly. I like the way Fans Toys did it. Nice and clean on the back. So these guys are really similar. There are some things I think Fans Toys does better. There are some things I like better on the Make Toys, like the rims and the smoked glass. So I'm going to give them a tie on the vehicle mode. They're just too close. They both do some really good things. And depending on what you're looking for, uh, one or the other will suit your needs. So we'll give them a tie. Right, the next category is the cost on these two. And I use the US retail prices. I, t I tend to go to ages three and up. So from ages three and up, the Jive figure is $160. The uh, MiG Toys downbeat is going to be $110, even for the premium version, which came out 
uh, more recently. So we're going to give cost over to Make Toys. And the final factor on this comparison is the members choice category where I ask my members which one they prefer in terms of visual preference and nothing else, no other factors. And Fans Toys is going to win this one uh, pretty easily in terms of the uh, visual preference. So final thoughts on this comparison, you can see the score and Fans Toys is going to win this one. It was a pretty close battle actually, so Make Toys definitely held their own and that's pretty impressive. This figure is from 2016, right? And this is 2022. So that's six years apart and this is still one of the top masterpiece figures and one of the best jazz figures ever made. Now, where I think Fans Toys improved is the overall tune accuracy and the paint. So if those aren't things that you really care about, then I'm not sure the upgrade is worth it. Now, as far as the value, you know, I, I don't have value as a, as a category here because value is in the eye of the beholder. But for 110 bucks when this came out, the premium version, pretty darn good because you get a lot of accessories with it and you get a masterpiece version of Jazz. So... For me personally, I do prefer the Fans Toys version. I think it's just overall a better put together figure just from head to toe. But I still like this Make Toys figure. It is customized, so I'm going to be keeping this. It'll probably stay in the vehicle mode and live with this guy on the shelf. So that's it for today. Hopefully I helped you make a decision on your collection. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.